If you have more than 10 notes of demonetized currency after the 31st of December, you may have to pay a penalty of 10,000 rupees. That's the key highlight from the ordinance on demonetized currency. However, a grace period will be provided in some exceptional cases. Also, the government is expected to present the ordinance in Parliament very soon. Sapna Das joins us now with the exclusive news break. Sapna, there's been so much confusion on the fine print of this ordinance which hasn't been made public yet. Take us through what you know about the contents. In fact, to start with, what is this ordinance called? Well, the ordinance has been worded as a specified bank note cessation of liabilities ordinance 2016. Uh, this is proposed to become effective from December 31. And as the title indicates, this clearly means that the liabilities with uh, respect to the specified bank notes or the demonetized currency, uh, the liabilities on that side on the part of the central government as well as the Reserve Bank of India, they come to an end uh, from December 31. That's what it really indicates. This will also mean that the promissory nature of the demonetized notes uh, or the demonetized currency, uh, that promise RBI will no longer have to make uh, good. Having said that, certain exemptions have been given uh, to this uh, law. Basically, after December 31, uh, people who have so far been travelling abroad between the period of November 9 to December 31, uh, they can still go ahead and deposit their specified bank notes at the RBI counters. Second, uh, there will be also a class of people which will be separately notified by the central government who can go ahead and uh, make use of the RBI counters. Interestingly, the ordinance talks about this as the grace period being offered. They are not, uh, uh, the ordinance has not specified March 31 as the outer limit for uh, depositing at the RBI counters uh, the, some of the SBNs. Having said that, uh, the Reserve Bank of India will make sure that the declarations made for SBN deposits are genuine. Only then the amount will be credited in KYC compliant accounts. Having said that, there's also the penalty clause which everybody has been talking about. So after December 31, anybody, uh, after December 30 rather, anybody holding more than 10 specified banknotes uh, will be liable to a penalty of up to 10,000 rupees. And anybody making a false declaration during this grace period at the RBI counters will be liable to uh, will be liable to a penalty of up to fifty thousand rupees. All right, Sapna.